So today for Ship Request, we're going to be playing the Worcester. Last time we played the A-Gear, and you guys in the comments below either wanted to see a full AA build Worcester or the Tier 9 Azuma, another battle cruiser. And I'm making the executive decision to play something other than a battle cruiser this time because I'm not a huge fan of those, I'll be honest with you. And AA Worcester is kind of interesting. This is a ship I really do enjoy. And I don't always play it with the full AA build, I'll be honest with you. I do prefer just running reload. Um, the AA is good enough as it stands, but maybe we're just going to mow down some planes here in this one. And I'll like it for that reason. The build here is like this. Again, full AA, like you guys wanted to see. This is actually how I'm usually running my Worcester, uh, just with a reload mod instead. I don't need IFHE or heavy HE to do a lot of damage. I find the reload is very good. And we have 30 millimeters of pen base. So that allows us to pen most cruisers and anything we can't pen like battleships, 32 millimeter armor there, uh, we're able to shoot at superstructures and light a lot of fires that are gonna do really, really good damage anyway. So we're not cutting our fire chance in half with this and we're not wasting four points on it. At least that's kind of how I'm looking at it these days. Again, this is pretty standard for my build. If you're wanting to run a more normal build, definitely run Reload Mod. Uh, it's very, very good. Of course, we do have Radar with this ship, as well as the Defensive Fire. A lot of utility here, which is really, really nice. This is a very, very strong Tier 10 ship. Honestly, one of my favorite uh, cruisers in the entire game. So let's see what we can do. Hopefully, we get some carrier games, and we can show off the power of this full AA build. Before we do, though, make sure you comment down below this video whatever ship you want to see next, and... Upvote it if you already see it being commented. Whatever is upvoted the most, I will play next time. So in our first game here, we unfortunately did not end up in a carrier game, but even though our build is a little useless because of that, Wooster is just such a strong ship that it probably isn't going to matter all that much anyway. You can use islands to push up to potentially farm over, but uh, more importantly, you get this amazing radar. We can use our DPM then to kill a lot of destroyers very quickly is really, really nice. And uh, the other thing that I really like about uh, this ship is it's actually not too bad in a open water kiting roll. You can dodge a lot of shells with this thing, as well as uh, the Citadel is just low, right under these final three turrets here. It's above water here in the front of the ship, but uh, not at the back. So it's kind of hard to Citadel this thing while it's kiting sometimes. <laughs> Obviously, harder to play like this, but uh, doable, kind of. Um, we get the Gato out the bat. That is very, very nice for our team. So this Sherman, for example, here's an, here's an opportunity where um, we actually won't be able to shoot, but it's possible that radaring is the right play, right? Uh, we'll see if he does go dark here. He does, so we're going to radar just right away, trying to make sure our team is still going to be able to shoot. Um... Although it looks like the Harugamo is going to go down. And we're going to take some Torps here. Yikes. There's multiple DDs on this flank. That's unfortunate. Maybe only one? Only one. Okay. That is Shima Torps. That's painful. Hmm. In a situation like this, it's really tough to know what to do sometimes. You stay here and try and support. You go try and find a better island. Um, there's a lot of different things we could try here, but I do want to stay and kind of support this Vincent a little bit. Him there, Hergamo, although he's probably going to die here soon. Okay, they have a Minotaur here as well. Enemy 
Good fires. Triple fire on this Yami. He already did use his damage control. It's very lucky for us. Can be really good damage in. Trying to finish off one target here. So we're not in a situation where we have the luxury of farming efficiently. Ideally, we would be looking for the uh, Mecklenburg. But I really want to kill this Yami if we can. That would be really nice. So, open water, no carrier, not the best result here for uh, <laughs> the Worcester. But we can still do some good things. Really hoping we get a fire there. That would be very lucky. Okay. We kill the Yami. That's good. And now we get to farm the Mecklenburg a little bit here. Very good. So we're using our maneuverability to try and avoid these battleship salvos. We haven't had to deal with too much of them. Uh, they've been primarily focused on the uh, Vincent here on our team. However, uh, that's about to change, just like that. So good luck to us. Very possible we just die here. Yeah, okay, get lucky there. Mecklenburg doesn't actually manage to hit us. To keep in mind, the Vincent might be shooting at us as well. There goes the Harugamo. Tough flank, but our team has done really, really well on the other side. So keep that in mind. Mecklenburg turning to shoot us. Got HE. Alright. Not as scary. Still a little spooky. Wow. Where are those from? Yeah, what are you doing? Inside Worcester A uh, radar range? Really? Smoking up. Okay. Dodge the Mecklenburg, good. Unfortunately, it is only nine at this point. That's all right. Vincent is not shooting us, Mecklenburg is. That's fine. Long range like this, it can be a little difficult to aim, certainly. On a double fire, it's not amazing. Minotaur's got an insane amount of range there. Wow. That's a very accurate salvo. We do need to dodge that. I should have repped, but I uh, assumed the Mecklenburg would stay with the HE, so it's all fine. Okay. We do go dark, and, uh, you know, 90k, I think that's a decent example of a not optimal build at all. Still being able to do some good work here. Um, open water, non-carrier game, full AA build, that kind of thing. Flank collapses. It's a strong ship, man. It's a very, very strong ship. If I had uh, reload mod, which I usually play, this, uh, this would have gone maybe even a little better. Only five fires kind of sucks on the amount of hits, but we probably were hitting a lot of areas of the ships that already were, uh, were already on fire, so that's fine. We need to be careful we don't just run into a Minotaur here. He's got full health, we're on half, and he's got a super heal, so... We're kind of locked out because of that until we know where that Minotaur is. Okay, they've caught up to us now. And we're in trouble. Hopefully we do get some help from our teammates. That would be very, very nice. 
using AP if we can to try and limit the Minotaur's firing angles on us. Used his damage control. Trying to weave as much as we can. Seems like he's using his super heal now. That's good for us. Fires would be lovely. Fortunately, we're just not getting them. There we go. Okay. I think we live. Good. Certainly helped to have the uh, Sherman with us. I don't think we live on our own, but... I mean, we're on 14k there. We did quite a bit to that Minotaur. So... I think it is much closer without the Sherman, but uh, we did pretty well. Let's not eat some random torps here. But a decent hold. Well, not hold. A fighting retreat, let's say. <laughs> Two mil potential damage in a Worcester. Open water, too. Pretty good. Chimikaze's here. That's funny that he's chased me this long. Let's wait a few seconds, and then we will use our radar to hopefully catch him out. Using his smoke again. This time we're at least pushing into him. So we should get longer duration here. Mm, if I could aim, that would be really good. Not sure why he went this far south. Keep in mind we do have Hydra. Oh my goodness. Is it aim or dispersion right now? Come on. Second. That was a good hit. Okay, we do get him. Poor aim, poor dispersion, not sure which. Probably a mix of both, but uh, three kills. I'll take it. And looks like our team is kind of wrapping up in the north, which is good. They pushed... Both teams pushed spawn. As you can see, it's a very difficult thing to do, pushing the enemy's spawn. Typically not recommended, but uh, in this case, I think it worked out for our team. Did a little better job of farming their guys as they pushed our spawn, maybe? Okay. A pretty good first game still. Um, not what we're looking for, but hey. A build that uh, is not very optimized for this match still does perform reasonably well. Let's uh, hope we find a carrier here, which is not words I thought I would be saying. So again here, we have a situation of no carrier. <laughs> this is so weird. Why are there no carriers around? I always... I'm, I'm never looking to play against a carrier, ever. And the one time I am, they just don't exist. That's really funny. But we can still push up aggressively. Um, no carrier does mean we get to play some very, very aggressive islands like this one here. Um, it can be a very good option to surprise some DDs here. Possibly uh, get a quick pick. Um, our Venice spawned here but is now cutting middle, unfortunately. If he were out here... Oh my goodness. The, the plays we could have made with him would have been unbelievable. I think we wait. Our Fletcher is bow in at the moment, which is not great. But Okay, once we see the cap stall, uh, that's when we know there will be a destroyer in there. In fact, there's a DD right there. Unfortunately, he's outside of our radar range, but uh, he is shooting at the moment. Yeah, okay, didn't get damage on him, unfortunately, but uh, kind of deterred him, maybe? Our Fletcher hopefully gets out of here alive. Yeah, so our team has given up like this side now, which is pretty bad. Typically, I talk about this where you don't want to give up like a quarter of the map because then the enemy controls three quarters and you're just stuck and going to die. So hopefully we can 
farm them as they come in. Maybe they'll get very aggressive. Okay, we're not getting spotted here yet. This is not the best island to farm over, but we'll try. Just the Martel that's shooting me at the moment. It's fine. A few hits on the Benham. The rune from across the map. Yikes. Yeah, we don't have... Uh, <laughs> we're in a very precarious position here. Let's uh, let's not throw this away. And use just our back turrets here. It's another feature of the Worcester that you can kind of abuse. This low citadel back here means you don't really get citadeled if people hit you back there. So if you reverse around these islands, then a, a battleship just shoots you. You're not actually going to take a huge amount of damage. Typically, it's possible, obviously. And uh, it's almost like free uh, free damage here coming around this island for us. Yeah, it's, we lose half our DPM, which is not amazing. But it is... It is safer. Okay, here come the torps. Might have to go forward here a bit. Let's see. That one should hit the island. Does that one? It does. Okay. We're good. So even though we don't have C, we are protecting it kind of thing. That is a good idea. That is a free Mecklenburg farm. Usually people don't sit there, and that's where we don't actually have uh, the freest of farms on this spot. But uh, in this case, there's a Mecklenburg. Hopefully we get some fires. Again, no IFHE means we could have pretty good fire chance. There we go. Spotted here sucks. Benham or Charles? Probably Benham. Risky business. Risky business here. Was the Charles? Benham? Charles? One of the two. Yeah, now Mecklenburg's shooting at us. We gotta go forward to angle of that. Okay. And can we go dark? We can. Just barely. The angle certainly helped us there. Let's see, are we getting spotted from here? It is here. See? Give up a quarter of the map. It's very dangerous. Because Benham seems to really want to kill us specifically. So let's get ready to help this Fletcher. Yep. That's what we need to do at the moment. Going down. Missed, unfortunately. Yikes, this is really bad. So yeah, giving up giving up a quarter of the map um, for free is <laughs> not recommended, as we can see here. Tough. Tough game. So, yeah. Uh, I don't think we're in a position here to uh, really do a whole lot. That's okay. Maybe we'll go next and get a get a quick carrier game in to show you guys what this uh, AA can do a little better. Maybe. I'm gonna reverse out here. Maybe surprise the Benham if he's full charging. He might be doing. Shima there. Okay. Ooh, Charles. There. Yep. And there's a Shima here. But our team should be doing a good job against that. Yep. And they are. Good. What a weird game. You know, this is a position maybe you could consider taking with a... Uh, <laughs> in a carrier game, simply because you have the AA to sustain yourself here, but... I don't know. Seems rather risky. Oh. 
does seem rather risky. So, Ohio coming around on us is really bad. But maybe our team can uh, do some good work into them. There's suicide if I push out, so we just kind of have to hope the Ohio dies sooner than later. It just shoot. Turn and broadside. Let's see. Do you know where to shoot, my man? Nope. We live for a second. Come on. Come on. Yes. Okay. I'll take it. There's not a lot you can do there. Um, but maybe we did just enough that our team that uh, performed a tactical loss at the very beginning of the game might actually win. Uh, so that's cool. The unfortunate side of that is they don't learn that that's a really bad idea. <laughs> but... Uh, I'll take it, I guess. So on to the next game, and you guessed it. No carrier. Again. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of how today is, I guess. Um, we'll maybe check out AA Worcester another time. Maybe I'll get a better game and I'll make a post-commentary or something like that a little later, but... For now, we're uh, no carrier games. I guess you can see how I want to play a radar cruiser very aggressively if uh, if there isn't a carrier, which is sometimes pretty good to do. Alrighty then. In this case, we do have a submarine. Still have AP from the last game. Make sure we use these. Holland shooting down all of the uh, ASWs. That's kind of funny. Very interesting. So I've done all right here. Let's uh, pop our hydro. Doesn't look like they have too much here, actually. So uh, you know what? Maybe we send it in to try and kill this Holland. Although, I'm not sure I'm going to get around this island in time. Unfortunately. Unless he slows down. He's slowing down. Super risky with the stall in there, obviously. No, didn't get it. Too bad. So, flat broadside onto a Stalin, what happens? He has HE, so nothing. <laughs> uh, lucky us. Lucky us. I will take it. I'll take it. That's funny. So, you can play pretty aggressive in a, in a light cruiser. Depending on how the enemy team plays. Can we get any rear turrets? A little bit. Gotta watch out for battleships here. Certainly. The Shukushima just got lit. Shooting us. Stalin's turning for us again. Using this little... Uh, hacky thing where... Look, he shoots the back of our ship. Just overbends. Yep. I'll show you guys that in port uh, after, actually. Very handy. Yep. Yep. Battleships are shooting us from long range. So let's get towards this island a little more. Kind of sketchy. Maybe... That, was that Shikishima? Really do much damage. 
Interesting. Oh, he's almost in farming range. I want to do it. DD smoked up. Possible. Don't get lit. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Just barely able to farm this guy. I suppose you could do a range mod. Worcester. And have similar DPM to what we're having here. Typically, I want to run the reload mod. But if you run into a lot of battleships near the back of the map, um, this could be a good option. Try and help on the summers here. Don't have radar range, unfortunately. Kind of missing. That's okay. Looks like Daring is out of his smoke now. So we are going to get shot at here. That seems fine. The risky play is to uh, full send it in here. I think I might do that. Why not? We can throw a little bit here. Although our Sherman's kind of throwing too. Eh. It's super powerful for us to get here though, so I'm going to do it. Okay, Daring's not just going to randomly spot us. We can use the uh, smoke laid down by the Shimakaze. Maybe uh, catch a drop on a Summers here. But yeah, getting up to this island is super, super strong. Summer or Sherman does go down, as is expected here. Blind radar? What do you think? Possible. Oh, there. Sure. Are they around the islands yet? We're nearly around for Slava. Fortunately, we won't get much more there. A little bit. Plus, our team should help kill that Summers. A little damage in on the Daring as well. So, aggressive radar, huh? Pretty good. And now that we're here on this island, we're actually able to ingest it. And we can let our Ohio play a little farther back. He's in a bit worse of a position here. Where uh, we're in a very strong one. We're going to have to push around on us. And this is a scenario where our team does have control of kind of both sides here. Um, unlike last game where, you know, essentially we didn't have any control here. So the enemy team just walked here for free to kill me. Um, they can't do that quite as easily. What could happen though? But not as easily. Interesting. How's our tromp spotted? All I want to do here is get the gap and then maybe uh, start farming a little bit. Or look to deal with the daring, maybe. Okay, they got the Worcester. It's really good. No um, radar at the moment, so maybe I should just chill for a second. Wow, okay, and they got... Uh, Shikashima as well. Battleships are gone. Not a lot of damage in this one, but utility, right? Aggressive utility. Hello, Mr. Daring. Would you like radar? It's very good. It is very... Oh, 6,000? We don't even have AVHE. Wow. <laughs> okay. There we go. Make sure we don't eat the torps uh, if you manage to get some away. We are spotted, so Balao could be around. Yeah, there's torps. Very good. They do kill our Ohio. But uh, we do have a Nevsky here that we can fight now. HE? Yeah, just a DPM fight. All right, we'll take it. We've destroyed an enemy cruiser. 
FSK AP is pretty good, but we're able to angle most of the way. As without, um... These are subtorps, right? Yeah. Uh, we're able to angle most of the way while still keeping our main guns online. And not take citadels, which is really strong. Alrighty. Just the sub yet. Worcester's great, man. Even with a suboptimal build, missing out on the DPM here, it's it's such an awesome ship. It's one of the main reasons I love to recommend this one to people. It's just so enjoyable to play. It's just so strong at everything. It's It's got the typical light cruiser weaknesses, but you learn to play around those, and it's so fun. It's just so much fun. Not as much damage in this one, but that's all right. Our score is pretty solid, though, still. And uh, before we go, the armor layout, right? You get this little shelf back here. I guess it does include this turret, but uh, the Citadel looks like that. <laughs> it's just there's just nothing back here. So uh, if you're if you're only exposing this area of the ship, maybe some of the island allows you to get this gun over as well. Yeah, good luck citadeling me if you can only see this part of the ship. It's rather silly. I'm not sure why it's like that, but it does make this ship pretty strong if, you know, if you're aware and uh, are able to use that to your advantage. Um, but other than that, there's uh, Worcester AA build. Maximum AA, apparently, is very good at keeping carriers away since we didn't see any today. So thank you very much for watching this one. Again, leave whatever ship you want to uh, see in the comments down below. Play next time, whatever is the most upvoted. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.